Welcome to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. Take it from the Iron Woman is celebrating today. It's October 15. October 15 is the two-year anniversary of Take It From The Iron Woman podcast. How did that happen? I started, I turned around, and it's two years later. How can that be? What happened to me? I'm just looking back at two years of fantastic connections, two years of learning and growing with you, for you, and many other things. So it's a celebration of two years where I think when I look at myself, when I started probably in August of 2019, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how much fun it would be, but I also didn't know how much work it would be. If you think of a podcast episode, you listen in and you're like, ah, bah, whatever. Think how much work is behind it. Okay, it starts with you having an idea, you creating an intro, you creating the music, you creating a guest list, and then you reach out to the guest. Hello, would you like to be on my podcast? They don't respond. They don't respond. How many times can I follow up? Hello, I would like to have you as a guest. No response. I like to have you as a guest with me. Okay, then they get back to you. I don't have an interesting story or I don't have the time. One person says, how much time does it take for me? I don't have the time at the moment. Ooh, okay. I guess they're not interested. This is the message. Okay, so then you invite another guest. Oh, I'm very happy to be on your podcast. I'm honored to be on your podcast. Different energy. Different person, different story. But remember, everybody has a great story. And I'm usually interested in Take It From The Iron Woman Global Business Coaching with Sports Parallels. Some people think like, I'm not an Iron Man. I'm not an Iron Woman. Nobody has to be an Iron Man. But what does it take? Everything is about planning. It's about setting up a strategy. It's about creating a vision. It's about planning, execution, celebrating. How do you get there? What does it take? All those questions we can discuss in a podcast. And everybody has something interesting to say. So then you schedule a person for the podcast. You use Zoom or Calendly. Now that has helped me a lot. That saves me a lot of time with back and forth, back and forth. So what I have learned is automate your processes. Ha! Huh. Automate your processes. And also block out time because it takes time to edit the podcast, to put it together, to upload it. And then also to put it on social media because at the end of the day, you want to share your podcast with the world. So these are a few tips that I have for a podcast. And we know these days there's like probably 2 million podcasts. Some of the podcasts, they only have two episodes. People are enthusiastic. They start, wow, this is something cool. I can do this. Okay, join us on my journey. I have now more than 235 episodes. Yes, it's 235. 235 episodes. That means I've had at least 
150 interviews with different people. Some people you hear more than once or even twice. Some people have really cool stories that we need to stop them. What I thought would be cool is to have shorter episodes. My episodes typically are anything from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. Also, last time we had an episode with almost 20 minutes listening to Patul's story of her family escaping Kabul to come to the US. You cannot stop a person after 15 minutes when the story is so interesting. You need to listen deeper and clearer and you need to listen more. What can you take away? What can you learn? But also, how can you help somebody? I think that's what I want. What is the podcast for? It's about learning and growing together. But it's also using the platform as a method to send a message, an important message to the world. When do you ever get to meet the glitter glam girls who are producing greeting cards or any cards for any occasion? You meet a person who has been on all the highest mountains in the world, a person who has donated part of his liver to another person, a person who is donating his time and also finances to the brother who is mentally challenged, a brother who needs us, run for Rob, check it out. Oh, then you listen to all the crazy Iron Man stories, how we train for it, and that it is not so much about that one day, but it's about the whole year when you prepare, and you prepare mentally and physically. And there are also days when we are on a high, and then we have days like everybody where we're not so motivated and we're like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. So we hear from all kind of people, from people from all walks of life and people from around the world, people with different languages. We have heard Swiss German, German, English and Spanish. How cool is that? What is your favorite episode so far out of the 235 episode? There will be more. It's about uniting the people, but it's also creating a support group. Ask questions. You can always reach out to me, ask more questions. And what else has been happening in the past two years? Yes, we know the pandemic this is an animal that doesn't go away. And I actually used the pandemic times to reach out and reconnect to my network. It was exciting to hear from friends or even professional contacts I haven't heard in a long time. How are you going about the COVID, the pandemic times? You're the CEO. How do you motivate your team? How do you stand in front of the team when you have to deliver a difficult message? This is what I learned as an executive coach. But we all go through difficult times. When is it ever easy? <laughs> I don't know. It's always a difficult time if you look at it like this. Or I would say it's a challenging time where we can find new ways of learning, new ways of growing it's one step at a time. It's one day at a time. When we look at a marathon, there we have 26 miles. In the alphabet, we have 26 letters. So we take one letter at a time, one mile at a time, and we get to our goals. Setting goals, being disciplined, having a good and healthy mindset brings us to those goals. So I started the podcast not knowing too much about the technology. I'm learning. I'm still learning and it's not my favorite thing to do, but I have to do it if I want to get through this. And then I also have written more than 500 blogs over the past 10 years. And I always thought like, what would I do with those blogs? 
they're just there. It's sunk cost, as they call it in the business. Well, but it's mine. And then I had an idea through my alt MBA. Why don't I put a book together? And this is when I created Lipstick Leadership. Lipstick Leadership is a book for women and also other people who are empowered and inspired to dare to lead. We need people who are standing up, leaning in to get us to the next level. Now is the time. If not now, then when? If not you or me, then who? Are you ready to embark on this? And actually, the lipstick leadership has an interesting story. It's like the French Revolution. Egalité, fraternité, liberté. And this translates into equality, fraternity. But I changed it into sisterhood because I'm more interested in the women development. And if you think of the statistic, Swiss women were only able to vote as of 1971. Actually, this year is 50 years since the women in Switzerland have been able to vote. Maybe not the most positive statistic, but it is a statistic. As of 50 years ago, women in Switzerland were able to vote. And my philosophy is that we all need to work together in order to get to the next level. And the third chapter is then the liberty. So initially with equality, you start to learn. You start to be curious. You learn what you can do and you grow. In the sisterhood phase, you learn from others. You learn from Iris Apfel. She's now a hundred years old. Or you learn from Frida Kahlo. But also Mary Poppins can teach us. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Let's go on an adventure. Don't ask too many questions. These are words from Mary Poppins. And what about Miss Santa Claus? Ha! Ah, that's a huge topic for me. Lately, I've seen that ornaments are changing. We don't only have Mr. Santa Claus as Christmas ornaments, but also Miss Santa Claus. I think we're moving in the right direction, but we're not moving fast enough. So we want to learn from Miss Santa Claus. And in the book, Leipzig Leadership, you can find out Miss Santa Claus is basically the CEO, the COO, and the chief diversity officer because we know she can work with anybody. And if you look at the family, the mom, the Miss Santa Claus, is bringing everybody together. Everybody has a different character, but Miss Santa Claus can work with everybody around the globe. And what about the liberty? Well, now we have learned from all the great women and mind in the Lipstick Leadership book, we only find quotes from fascinating women. Lady Gaga, Madonna, anybody who has something cool to say. Kamala Harris. The liberty is then to take it away, to be free. You are, you can create your freedom. Listen to Batul, how she integrated into a new life on the episodes. But in the book, it's about traveling when we can again, when it's safe to travel, we can fulfill our dreams. And now is the time. Now is the time to fulfill your dream. Why not now? If not now, then when is a good time? And actually to going back to my start of the podcast, I thought in 2020, which is the perfect vision, I would start my podcast. I would start only January 2020. Then all of a sudden, it hit me, there will be never a perfect moment. As an executive coach, many times people are asking me, when is a good time to start my own business? I think the answer is yes. The answer is always, it's a good time, even in bad times. Look around, in the pandemic, People had to shift, people had to pivot, people had to be very flexible when they had even a small business or even a bigger business. We all had to shift and pivot into the right direction. 
Take It From The Iron Woman is very happy to interview many more people and we want to have you on the journey. Take It From The Iron Woman and Lipstick Leadership are available for you. Read them, digest, ask questions, reach out to me. I'm happy to be on the journey with you. We look forward to having many more episodes with you. If you want to be on the podcast, just reach out. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. There is something for everybody from authors to coaches to Ironman to marathon runners. Anybody can be on the podcast and we can learn from anybody. Thank you so much for your support. We keep going. See you next time. Thank you.